And really interesting for me is that Meshmer didn't name them. And so all the names we have now were put onto the, like a mask onto the sculpture. And I think the reason that is, is that if something has a name, it's easy to understand. Whereas if something has no name, it's dangerous and ambiguous and you can't, and you have to actually react to it. So it's a way of trying to tame the sculptures by naming them with these ridiculous names like the strong smelling man or the quibbling quipster or these slightly absurd names, which are stuck now. But I think the power of Messerschmitt is its ambiguity. And like, what was it about? What was this guy doing? What does it mean? But even to ask the question, what does it mean, gets thrown back in your face because meaning and art it doesn't have a meaning. Any great artwork that lasts the test of time has multiple meanings for different people and that's why it's still relevant. Mm -hmm.